Now, unlike what I showed you in the previous uh, tutorial about navigating pages, you'll notice that when I did that, I wasn't zooming in and out. I was just jumping around from page to page and looking at them all from about the same distance. What I also wanna show you is how to zoom in using something called Power Zoom. It's another great working shortcut. So I'm gonna to go to File and Open. Right here in my Chapter 3, I'm gonna to go to Folder 2 and using Power Zoom. Okay, in this document, I've got a lot of information here. I don't need my pages panel. We really just have one page. So I'm gonna put that back up where it belongs right in there. And we'll push that over. There we go. So I am looking at the entire page, but the problem is I've zoomed out so far that I can't even read most of this type. I like keeping a view of everything, but I also wanna zoom in really quick and check things and then jump back out and look at everything in its entirety. So here's a great trick. I'm on the hand tool and all I have to do is press and hold. Let's say I wanna look at this type up here. Now let's look at this type right here. Press and hold and now I get this red box. And you'll notice next to my hand cursor, there's a tiny little circle with an even tinier up arrow and down arrow. As soon as I let go of the mouse, it's gonna zoom back into whatever was in that box. So if I press and hold, and now I hit the up arrow, I will make this even bigger box. But if I hit the down arrow, I will make this so I can zoom in on a particular part of my file. Notice the type is so small, I can't even see it. It's called Greeked type. It's just indicated by gray bars. So now when I've hit the down arrow and made this box nice and small for details, I let go of the mouse and I zoom in powerfully. See, I needed to zoom in because I, now I notice they didn't even spell the word special right. Served with daily special salad and miso soup no that is special i can't read that from here if i hit the up arrow and zoom in like this that's still going to be pretty small to check out stuff so i press and hold hit the down arrow and zoom in now i can see there's a type error there they should have found that with type check spelling anyway let's see well, here's the problem. Type menu, even though we're on type, it doesn't have check spelling. Every application has edit menu, check spelling. They would have caught that, okay? So keep that in mind. When you wanna check your spelling, it has nothing to do with type. It has to do with editing or changing a file. So it's edit, spelling, check spelling. They forgot that. So luckily, I used Power Zoom to catch that. Now I can take my type tool, click right there in the type and add my A. Okay, great. I'm gonna hold, go to my hand tool, press and hold. Now I'll come down. See, they missed it again. Darn it. Click, type my A, go to my black arrow to stop typing. Go to my hand tool, press and hold. Okay, this person's fired. Uh, look at that. This is how ridiculous it is. You gotta zoom in and check your details. Served with daily special, and then right below, Super Maki special. How can they miss it? They're right next to each other. This is ridiculous. This is a bad graphic designer, so you gotta be aware of those issues. Zoom in and check everything at the end. Always zoom in and check. Don't take anything for granted. Zoom in, reread everything you type out, okay? If you'd say BBQ, you better say BBQ on everything. If I come over here and look around, let's see, I think it's over here. There's BBQ, BBQ. Want to make sure they didn't put B period, Q period, you know, like some people type. So you want to check those things for consistency. Good. 
Now they got special spelled right. So they're all over the place on this design. Okay, command and zero zooms out. So double check because check this out. Press and hold with my power zoom. Hit the down arrow. Now they're saying B period B period Q. What the heck? Now they're all over the place. Okay, you gotta be consistent. And the only way you're gonna be consistent is by checking out the details. Notice when I zoomed in, this image fills the box perfectly. This image didn't quite cut it. It's got a border against a border. That looks stupid. Okay, I wouldn't have caught that unless I used my power zoom. Of course, I'm not gonna see anything like that here. But when I power zoom in, you don't want me checking out your files like this, which I do because I'm going to notice these mistakes and I'm going to call you on it. So make sure you check the details of your work. I don't want people coming out of my class with half-ass stuff and they keep missing the borders and everything. Like I taught them how to do that. You shouldn't be missing borders. That ain't my fault. Okay. That one fits. This one fits. There, we're skimming the edge. So I always make sure that if I have any photo, I want my photos to go past the edge of the box for a bleed. Okay, you just got to watch out for that stuff. I would always recommend, instead of just using power zoom, you know, just zoom in at one level from this point on and check your work up close. Make sure everything works. If you type B period, B period, you better type it everywhere and then skip it there. That's ridiculous. So power zoom helps me to check the details with the hand tool. Okay, there you go. Use power zoom with the hand tool.